Think you had a tough time trying out for your local improv group? Just be glad you weren't a scene partner with the Terrifier star. Art the Clown is fast becoming a new slasher icon. Though he's yet to star in a truly massive box office hit, his blood-drenched exploits in Terrifier 2 went a long way towards building his reputation as a slasher killer of the modern age. Damien Leone, the creator of the franchise and director of the first two installments, has made a name for himself by depicting scenes of such utter depravity that audiences have reportedly struggled not to pass out. Stay back. Stop, please, stop. Stay away from me. No, no, please. But it would be selling short the efforts of the man behind the makeup, David Howard Thornton, whose playful and sinister performance as art in both Terrifier and its sequel has helped establish the character as one of the most oddly compelling slasher figures of modern times. For Leone, that potential was there from the moment Howard Thornton auditioned. The actor discussed his first audition for art with Bloody Flicks, where he claimed it was the most interesting and fun audition he'd ever been to. I had seen a notice for the part on an audition site, calling for skinny men with clowning physical comedy experience to audition for the role of art. When he landed the audition, however, he wasn't provided with any scripts, scenes, or even lines. Instead, Thornton was simply asked to show up to the meeting with Damien Leone and the producers and didn't know what to expect. He continued, They asked me to improvise a scene as art on the spot. This was when I was glad that I had a lot of training in improv, since I was put on the spot like that. If I remember correctly, I made up a scene where I walked in and snuck up behind this victim, stabbing her in the head, and ended up sawing off her head. Simply miming this decapitation wasn't what got Howard Thornton the part. The actor provided just a touch of extra sadocomedic genius to his improv. The actor told Bloody Flicks how he proceeded to pick up the imaginary head and pretended to have a conversation with it. He continued, I ended up tasting the blood leaking out of it. This was not to my liking, so I whipped out a salt shaker and seasoned the head to my liking. I then threw the head in my bag of tricks, tossed the bag over my shoulder, and skipped out of the room. They yelled cut, and I noticed Damien had his head in the table in a fit of giggles. After performing that bit of depraved improv, Howard Thornton was basically guaranteed the starring role in Terrifier, though he had to wait a while to find out for sure. As the actor remembered it, they asked me if I was comfortable with enduring hours of makeup applications, and if I was up for coming in for a makeup test, and told me that they would be in touch. A few months later, they called me in for the tests and told me that I had the part. Terrifier started shooting soon after, and Howard Thornton quickly proved himself capable in the role displaying much of the same humor that landed him the role in the first place. Since then, that humor has come to define much of the character, helping lead the franchise to its recent success. 2016's Terrifier went largely unnoticed, but is infamous among some horror fans. Terrifier 2 then arrived in 2022 with even more ultra-violence and proved to be almost too brutal for even seasoned horror fans. Still, it managed to finally gain Leone and the franchise some recognition making $15.7 million on a $250,000 budget and leading to some wider cultural influence. We have to show the audience things that they would never have the balls to show. But before Art the Clown starred in his own film with 2016's Terrifier, he was one of many twisted characters Damien Leone devised to bring his nightmarish visions to life in a series of short films. Originally portrayed by Mike Gianelli, Art showed up in the short films The Ninth Circle and 2011's Terrifier, before becoming the central ghoul in 2013's All Hallows' Eve. But when it came time for the first official Terrifier movie, Leone switched things up, casting relative newcomer David Howard Thornton in the role. The director created Art the Clown as somewhat of an amalgamation of iconic horror killers, from Freddy to Michael Myers. But there was an extra element of sadistic humor bound up in the bloodthirsty clown, which set him apart from your typical emotionless killing machine. As Leone previously told Slashfilm, Art thinks what he's doing is funny because he's laughing. It's that humanity that comes through from the character, believe it or not, that I think is what people really gravitate towards so much. I think it's that sense of humor that really attracts him to people, or people to him. While both Terrifier and Terrifier 2 are basically wall-to-wall -wall ultra violence, there's certainly something about Art's incongruous cheekiness that makes both films so utterly disturbing, yet grimly comedic. And it's fair to say that David Howard Thornton defined much of this aspect of the character even when it put him in danger. David Howard Thornton recalled how filming for Terrifier started in October of 2015, during which time the actor was almost shot by New Jersey police officers after some locals mistook his fake blood-splattered clothing for the real thing. But despite almost meeting his own demise during filming, Howard Thornton seemingly regrets nothing about pursuing or playing art. As he told Bloody Flicks, that was one of those auditions where I walked out knowing I had the part deep down 
because everything just felt right. I'm glad my gut was right, because I have loved playing the character. Apparently, there's a scene in the upcoming Terrifier 3 that almost made Howard Thornton sick, so we'll have to see whether he feels any different about playing the murderous clown during the press tour for that movie. But for now, there's no doubt the actor and his comedic abilities have been an integral part of helping Art become one of the biggest slasher stars of the past few years.